Oh, look at that. What is in there? Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, what is that? So I'm now essentially crossing over to the other side of the dam. And why is this here? Hey there, everyone. Today I'm coming to you from the base of a small mountain. That's because something historical was located here a long time ago. Now, I was here already for a previous video that I did on an old incline slope known as a bridle path, which is up in that direction. If you haven't seen that video, you'll find it down below. But in this video, we're focusing on the area around the bridle path, on the sides of it, below it, and above it. That's because there's supposed to be some ruins, remnants, and remains from the Pennsylvania Coal Company when they operated here back in the 1800s. I also did get a source too from one of my viewers that if I follow the stream up here, it may lead me to some more hidden, abandoned things related to this. Nothing that we're gonna be able to kind of go and explore like a, an old factory or a house, but definitely things from the past showing that something once was there. But we do have a lot of ground to cover. I'm gonna be asking for your help as well. So if you do see anything that stands out that doesn't look natural, make sure you let me know because I wanna document this the best that I can. And I do know that there are things hiding back here in the woods. We do have some snow cover on the ground, as you can see, so that may or may not help us. But with that being said, just be careful. Wear some proper footwear because it is slippery. Anyways, if you want to see what I find or don't find that could be hiding here in the woods, well, you know what to do. Just come along with me. Looks like we found our first item. So I'm walking right now between two walls, but there are two more above me here. And stand next to it, you can see the height of it. It's a good size. This one's lower, so they're going down at a slope. And they are concrete, but definitely old. On top is a beautiful layer of nature's carpet and some frozen ice there. But I do have some ideas as to what this could be. Now, obviously, if I am wrong, you know, I do apologize. I'm just putting out my guesses to try to put some relation as to what we're looking at. But the way these are coming down, which I will give you a better look at it, I think it could have been one of two things. This could have either been a holding area for maybe processed coal, kind of like a, you know, holding area, for lack of a better word, would have kind of held them between these walls here. Different maybe classifications of coal. The other thing too is that this could have been supports for an incline that is up farther, which I did do a video on as mentioned, but this is kind of in relation to that. So maybe this was an elevated trestle of sorts for the incline coming farther down. That's my guesses. I could be completely off. If you guys happen to know what this is, We'd love to hear your thoughts, but I do think it's either for holding a processed coal or supports for the incline slope that we investigated in the previous video. It's hard to pass up some photo opportunities, so that's what I'm doing right now. Make sure to smile. I was looking down from the top where I had you guys sitting earlier when I walked in was between the first and second one there. So you can see the grade that's going down following the mountainside. Up behind here though is some more evidence. Some more pieces there, but the one that really stands out is right back here. There are some notches cut in here and some anchor bolts coming through. Now what comes to mind when I see this, that looks to be about the distance of rails, possibly narrow gauge. So there could have been narrow gauge tracks coming through here. And then, like I said, some type of 
wooden platform slash trestle on top of this going down. Not only that, but next to this, in this whole area right here, are big chunks of coal laying about. So all these black spots that you see here, that is all coal. Right there. So with my guessing of two possible scenarios of either holding coal or being part of the incline, I think we're not too far off. But there is more to discover than just this. So we need to keep moving. And we're gonna be going uphill, so we're gonna pace ourselves. We don't wanna overexert ourselves, nor do we wanna slip and fall and injure ourselves. And it's also a gorgeous day out. It's in the upper 40s. They are calling for a little bit of snow tonight. But in the meantime, we're gonna enjoy the weather while it's nice. It almost kind of resembles a man-made little wall. It looks like individual pieces stacked there, but can't be certain of that. But up behind it though, is something that I remember seeing when I was here for my first time last year, which I thought was a little cave. So this big rocky, rocky, rocky outcrop is a pretty neat feature. Um, I'm almost certain it's natural, but underneath it though, there are little crawl spaces of sorts. And it goes back there, uh, not too far, kind of dead ends, but probably a little hideaway for animals. But the unique thing is that it's a perfect landscape for nature's carpet. It's just covered in it. And it's dripping all across, glistening in the sun. It looks really nice. It would look even better if there was no snow on it at all. But as we're looking, we're discovering more. You see that right there? That is another anchor bolt coming through, as is right there, and one over there. So we have at least three anchor bolts coming through. So this was used for something. I don't believe, like I said, this was placed here. I think this is natural, but it is in line with those walls down there. I'm gonna get up on top of here and show you a better view as long as I don't face plant on this stuff. Oh, okay. So before I show you what it looks like from up top, I'm showing you further up. This is the old incline slope known as the bridle path straight ahead of us here. This is what I was here to do today as my first video. So I did walk to the top of that show you what it looks like, but like I said, today we're gonna to be focusing on the sides of it to see if anything is hiding out here. But right now, up on top of this mound and rock face, we're looking down, there's the walls down there. So it is in line of sorts, but I do see at least three anchor bolts coming through, so Little things like that are hiding out here, which don't make a whole lot of sense by themselves, but in the bigger picture, they kind of do. So what I plan on doing first is walking a bit up the slope here. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled on both sides to see if anything stands out. I do know I was told to follow the stream up here that way it may lead me to something else, but we're gonna save that for later. So let's cross here. Now, since you guys already saw the slope in the first video, I'm not gonna show you the entire way. I'm more or less just using it for a path to navigate up the hill, but I am gonna be focusing my attention off to the sides. 
I do know there's some rocky features up here and some things that are laying down, which may or may not be natural or not. So we will kind of determine that as we make our way. So where I'm walking, it's just off to the right. Slope is right there. And I saw this big rocky outcrop. And I just wanted to kind of check it out up close. Sounds like the ground is hollow that I'm walking on. And there's a big old dead tree right there. Over here though, size this rock and it's dripping and glistening in moss and some algae. I'll show you uh, how big it is compared to me. You can see this towers over me. It's probably about close to eight feet tall. And it's just a big, big, big boulder. Even some little ferns growing out of it here. Now here is something that somebody laid here. This is, looks to be like window blinds. Some type of vinyl or plastic, but why would that be here? Well, this is kind of neat. And it's almost like a little passageway through here. So I think we're going to try to go that route. I don't see any caves or openings of anything, just some natural features, but I'm trying to see if uh, it's doable. I think it is. I just want to poke around a bit more before we continue upwards. Is that something? It looks like a little hole there. Let's take a closer look at that. Oh yeah, it actually goes all the way through. You can see there's a definite passageway. That is really cool. And try to make our way through this rocky outcrop here. Getting hung up on my backpack. Can't stand up yet. All right, we made it. And now we're kind of in the middle of a whole nother world here. Wow, this is really cool. Not mine related, but still cool. So right here's the other side where I showed you that we were able to peek through. That's certainly not big enough to crawl through, but for animals, certain animals, they could definitely fit. We just crawl through there, which could potentially make for a decent shelter if you needed to use one or have one. And, uh, yeah, we're kind of like on the inside of the walls here. This is probably a huge snake den in the summer. I can only imagine how many snakes and critters and spiders hang out here. And the other really awesome natural feature here is this tree, which at the base of it looks like one gigantic tree. It's actually two growing up. That is awesome. I am seeing some broken red solo cups, which means this is probably a party spot. Oh, look at that. What is in there? Wow, 
it's a bunch of bottles and it's partially flooded. And it goes through to the other side. I don't know if people have been through there, but they're definitely throwing their garbage there, which is pretty unfortunate. All they gotta do is just bring a trash bag with them. But yeah, it's a neat little natural cavity here. This kind of stuff fascinates me. I don't know about you guys, but seeing natural geological features like this is just really something to take in, especially in person, just knowing, you know, these have been here for so long and you don't know what kind of, you know, things that have taken place around them, whether it's mining activity, you know, natural disasters, anything of the sorts, but they've been standing here, standing the test of time, but also offer some really neat features as well. And that's just like a frozen, icy little river in there. That's all ice. As is this right here, another icy slope. That's a complete sheet of ice. Summertime, I think I may have to return just to see this place in its full glory. Oh, look at. We found some of these earlier in the previous video, burn barrels. Yeah, I come across a party spot without a doubt. A cool one at that though. You have some natural protection from wind, from people. I mean, unless you are making yourself obviously known, not many people are gonna know that you're sitting in there. Look at all the carpet. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, what is that? Clamshells, what are clamshells doing here? There's all clamshells in here. Like all the way back in the crack. That does not make sense. There's no, this is not underwater, it's not a water source. I mean, I could see that maybe people threw them there, but the ones way back there, I mean, it would be hard to get them back there. Let's see if we could grab some of them here. Yeah, let's uh, put them right here. That is so bizarre. I do think some of the stuff was placed here though. There is some broken glass. Looks like the lid of a jar or something. But yeah, dozens of clamshells. I just can't believe how many there are. And they're like in, intact. Do you see any back there? I'm looking. They're all over the place. This is totally bizarre. One of the strangest things I've ever found out in nature. We're looking for coal mining runes and remnants and we're finding clamshells. I don't get it, but hey, I'm just sharing what I find along the way. I think it's pretty safe to say that no matter where I go, no matter what's around, I can have fun and a good time. Check out that little rocky little party area. It was pretty neat. And the clamshells, well, you already know my thoughts on that. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to looking for some coal mine ruins. Looking out to my left here, I don't see anything but fallen trees and some boulders, nothing man-made. But up here on the right though, is something that I missed on my first time here earlier today, climbing this slope. You see it right here in front of us? This is a pile of coal material. There's little shards and pieces of coal Looks like some comb silt, dirt and rocks, but it's right here on the immediate side of the slope here, which makes me wonder, like did a coal car tip over on its way down and the material was just left here? That's probably a very far stretch of the imagination. I don't think they would leave profitable material unless they dumped it as waste here. And it could be a tree or a post or a tie or something, but without a doubt there is coal here. All those little shiny pieces. But so far, 
not finding much more than what we came across already. Now, what my plan is, is to follow the advice of the viewer that told me about the details of this location. And he told me when I get to the top of the slope, which I'm near the top, it's a little bit further up, to head right, which I'm doing now, and to follow the stream. And it should take me to some old foundations and ruins from the coal mining past here. Something I missed in my first visit last year. So I'm gonna try to make some progress here. When I find out the proper area I'm headed to, pick up with the stream, I will bring you back and we'll try to discover it together. So for a moment, I was having my doubts. So the slope is approximately, I'd say 50 to 75 yards in that direction. And I do hear the water, but as I looked off to the left, there's a private residence there. I'm thinking, okay, I don't wanna go onto someone's property, so I'll stay away from that. And like, I don't see anything that stands out at the moment. But then when I look closer, there actually is. So first off, is remnants of an old dam. And I remember him telling me about this. This used to be a swimming hole back in the day, but then the owner deemed it to be unsafe for various reasons. But it's still standing though. Stonewall Dam. I will give you a view from the top side to show you how it was a swimming hole back in the day, but this is pretty neat. This is dating back a long time. And it's flowing down. And as he mentioned, there are some ruins back here. I do see them mixed in the woods there. So there is definitely more to see. So make sure you can continue watching to see what those are and maybe what we can find out about them. But before we do that, let's check the top side of this dam. So back in the day, I'm assuming that home may not have been there. But what you can tell though, is there is a type of depression here. So when that dam was fully intact, there was a body of water here. Now that water is flowing down to Mountain Lake, which is just up on top of the hill there. But this would have been an incredible swimming hole. And now it's just a natural little creek bed but he did share his memories of swimming here back in the day before the dam was dismantled and the dam wall would have went straight across. So from there to the top of the wall is maybe about six feet. So at the very least it would have been probably four to six feet deep, definitely deep enough to swim in, to lounge around in. And the people that live there have an awesome yard with this landscape, the creek flowing through their backyard nice peaceful area all right on to our next location which is right down there by those big walls all right welcome back so right up there is the dam made my way over and right here you can see signs of a wall made out of stone that's not the important part over here is what's even more important and even cooler this big concrete wall and I almost went down. That was good. So I wonder, I wonder if this was another dam. This may have been another body of water here. Yeah, this appears to be another dam. All right, so there's more than one here at the time. The old stone one up there which may or may not have been the swimming area, the swimming hole. It could have been down here. Uh, somebody lost their bucket. At first I thought this was a building foundation, but this does appear to be a dam. 
which is busted out. Pretty neat to see two different styles of dam within the same general location. The old stone one and this larger concrete one. But when this was intact, this whole area here was flooded underwater. And you off to the side here, there's some more big walls, which probably would have contained the water inside of here. Yeah, the wall continues over here, but it's in chunks. Looks like stacked stone underneath it and a concrete shell over the exterior portion of it. The stream flowing through here though, is absolutely beautiful. It just sounds so nice and it's nice and clear. And I just found a, is that a tether ball thing? Let me grab that. Hang on, I'm gonna grab something to show you. I just found it here. Maybe you guys could tell me what this is from. I'm not sure this is tether ball, racquetball. No, tether balls with the string around the pole. It's not that. I don't know what it's called, but you guys know what it is. That thing right there, you hit it with the miniature tennis racket over like a volleyball net. It's just laying there, it must've got washed down from somewhere. Hmm. The strangest things you'll find here in the woods. So now essentially crossing over to the other side of the dam. And why is this here? A little artificial plant here. <sighs> Very strange, you never know what you'll find. All right, let's keep moving. All right, here's another discovery. Look at this. This is, looks to be an old tackle box. Wow. I mean, it can be something else, maybe like a little safety deposit box or locked little case, but it does resemble like an old school tackle box with the tray on top and the lid. So when you open the lid, this tray would open up as well. That is pretty neat. And being here at the edge of the dam leads me to believe that this may have been a fishing hole back in the day. So when this was dammed up, you know, we had several feet of water I'm sure this was a popular fishing and swimming hole, but to find this here, even if it's not a tackle box, it's still old, it's rusted, it's been here for a long time. And it's right here on the head wall of the dam. This area is turning out to be a gold mine of treasures. So there is the dam where it's broken through, the tackle box is right up there. And as I'm looking over, there's even more signs of something from the past. I need to cross over, but you can see right there, there is some stacked walls of stone. I wonder if that was maybe a well house or something. All right, first let's get over there. That is a pretty neat view with all the fallen trees, the little rapids. I'm gonna have to snap a photo of that. Capture. Gonna need your help on this one. Help me identify what you think this is. I think this is more than just some random walls here. With the correlation to the dam, I'm thinking this may have been a small little homestead or home site, but I think more specifically, maybe a little valve or pump house, or maybe someone that worked here to control the flow of the dam, like a watchman or something, but this definitely resembles a little, you know, structure, like a little home. So if you'd imagine like, you know, this is the base of it, the walls would be up on top, whether it's all constructed out of stone or they had something else on top, there's a square base here. And that is the back portion of it. I could be completely off. It may be something else, but that is what it, it comes to mind when I see it. 
But yeah, definitely more of a discovering than I knew was ever back here. So I'm glad we came up this way and we were able to discover all this. But yeah, this area though is pretty interesting. I am kind of fascinated by it with the two different dams, two different styles of construction. And you know, these little finds like this as we walk about. And there is probably more. I mean, if you were to comb this area, I'm almost certain you would find a lot more. Well, if you guys made it this far, then you were the lucky ones because you got to see what else we were able to discover. Even though I was hoping to find more items, we didn't strike out. I mean, we found those tiered walls in the beginning, found that little neat rocky party area, which had some cool crevices and nature's carpet, stuff like that. But then following the advice of the viewer, coming up to the stream top here, there's not one but two dams which at least one of them was a swimming hole, according to him. And knowing that back in the day, this all ties back to the 1800s with the Pennsylvania Coal Company is even more awesome. And those of you who know me know that anything related to railroading, coal mining, just, you know, local history in general, I love to check out, document, and share with you guys. However little or significant it is, it is something that should be shared and appreciated with that being said i need to make my way back down to the bottom of the mountain here i'm going to do it safely so i don't slip and fall because it is still slippery out but i just want to thank you for joining me for today's adventure remember if you didn't see my first video here climbing the slope that will be linked down below as well as my first visit here last year where i discovered this whole area there was a part one was the lake part two was down here and that will maybe help you uh, understand this area a bit more. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you have a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. And I guess I'll say it again. Make sure to get out and explore your world. You never know what you'll find, whether it be clamshells, a toolbox, an artificial plant, or old ruins, remnants, and remains. Anyways, guys, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. I had to bring you back real quick. I was coming down here just to get some extra footage for some B-roll. I spotted the icicles, but looking closer, there is something wooden there, man-made. It almost resembles like a sluice box or a ladder of sorts, but it's just laying here at the bottom of this little debris pile, and it's covered in ice, but that stood out to me. Um, looks pretty old. Not sure what it could have been used for or where it came from, but it's laying here in the creek bed.